Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Cut the Shit, Get Fit. This is another edition of my car vlog. Sunny day. Freaking love it. Can't deny how much of a difference sun makes it better. Especially out this part in Canada, in Vancouver, where it rains all the fucking time. Fuck. Anyway, <laughs> this is going to be a great episode because I feel a rant coming on. I feel like I have some passion to release upon the world. Um, kind of following up from my last episode about supplements and if they're really necessary or not. I get questions poured in from Instagram and emailed to me all the frickin' time when it comes to nutrition, supplements, and just overall health. And I've received one too many (laughs) messages about detoxes and cleanses. (sighs) It needs to stop, people. It needs to stop. So if you look at this simple situation, excuse me, a simple thought, literally like nutrition and losing weight is very simple. If someone on Instagram in their 20s is selling you a liver cleanse tea, and has convinced you that your liver is not functioning the way it should, and this tea is gonna fix all those things, your number one solution shouldn't be drinking a tea to fix your liver. You should be going to a medical professional to look at that shit. (laughs) If at all, at any time you think any of your organs don't function the way they should, you should probably seek medical advice and not some Instagram influencer that posts bikini pics of her and she's 23 years old with 10,000 followers. That person might not know the ins and outs of how your organs function or even know what side the liver's on on their own body. (sighs) Now, I get it. I get it. A lot of these Instagram influencers, that this is their livelihood. They have to sell the shit in order to make money. But really, they're just making the health industry on the whole so much worse. So, at any time, in any place. If you think any of your organs are not working the way they should, go seek a medical professional. Hell, like, go talk to someone who has a doctorate in some sort of science around nutrition. They would be able to give you a better idea of what you should be doing nutritionally and what supplements you should be taking to help you go in the right direction. So now that we've got this idiotic idea of how people on Instagram are going to fix your organ issues, this just goes into my next whole thing. This whole idea of cleanses and detoxes have no place in at any time. Like, I really want to know who came up with this idea. Like, I have a feeling that one medical professional probably created, like, a clean eating diet of some sort and said that, you know, it would be a good idea to market this as a cleanse. And all it was is just clean eating. And then someone else decided to use that terminology to sell bullshit supplements. <laughs> you know, like, it blows my mind how these people are still around selling detox teas like this just tells me that the general population is so uninformed about shit 
when it comes to their own bodies. Like I have this conversation with my wife all the time. So she's at naturopathic medicine, medicine school right now. And the amount of detail she's learning about the human body. And for those who are listening from outside of Canada, where naturopathic doctors are very popular, a naturopath learns exactly what a medical doctor does plus more. So the plus more are modalities that most medical doctors don't use. They also learn how to do chiropractic adjustments and they also learn how to do acupuncture, both traditional Chinese medicine and IMS or dry needling or whatever you want to call it, depending on where you're from. So they learn a shit ton, like a shit ton about the human body and what happens to individuals when they don't eat right, don't sleep right, and don't exercise. And it's surprising to both of us, like, we are in charge of these sophisticated things called our bodies, and we have no idea how it works. Like, guaranteed, most of the people listening probably know more about how their car works than their own body. So going back to this whole cleanse and diet thing, like, your liver detoxes shit on the daily. Now, imagine if you're adding a supplement or whatever you're taking that you bought from Instagram from an influencer to help you detox more shit, if it actually even works. Now your body goes, oh, something is already in here doing the detox for me. I'm going to produce less of a hormonal response and sequence that I'm supposed to do to detox whatever is coming into the system. Then you go off your detox because, you know, you've done your 14-day protocol or you finished your teas, and now your liver is not functioning the way it should. Now you probably have a bigger problem than you did before. Like, all of this is pretty common sense, but a lot of times people are so bought into the marketing and the little science that these influencers know because that's what they were taught in the sales pitch. So if you truly, truly wanted a detox, a cleanse to make your body feel right, try not eating any shit for two weeks straight and drink a shit ton of water and sleep like 10 hours every single day and then exercise for 14 days straight. Like, that's a true cleanse and detox for your body to get rid of the toxins. Like, people would rather, like, what was that thing called? Where you'd have, like, cayenne pepper and water and lemon juice or some shit like that for, like, seven days straight to take out all the shit out of your body. Like, people will go to that extreme length but this whole idea to like exercise daily is like holy fuck like that's that's way too easy for me i need to do something even more drastic like imagine for the, uh, for an individual that has been eating like shit for the last two decades hasn't gone to the gym since high school and you put this individual on a strict diet of vegetables lean protein, healthy fats, exercising every single day and drinking a shit ton of water and sleeping eight to 10 hours a day for 14 days straight, like a miracle would happen on quality of life there. Like I don't get it why people jump to some sort of like magic tea supplement plan that's going to fix decades of terrible habits <laughs> like I remember being at a conference a business conference one time and I started chatting with the guy beside me and you know he was overweight and he was asking me what I did for a li living he was an accountant I always meet accountants this is so weird I don't, and that's why that's probably why I use that like 
example all the time when I'm talking about like a fake client that I'm working with. Um, so he like, you know, got to know what I did. And then he's like, oh, so what do you think about this like diet pill thing? I can't even remember what it was called. And I'm like, well, it doesn't work. He's like, no, no, no. Like this is like meant for like people over 40. And I'm like, okay, where, where did you like read about it? He's like, well, I was watching Dr. Oz. I'm like, okay, first of all, that's your number one mistake. <laughs> just <laughs> anything that Dr. Oz says, you should just like disregard that for any kind of medical advice at all. So I told him like, okay, you know, I personally haven't seen that episode, that supplement, whatever. I'm like, if it truly did work, then everyone would be super lean. Everyone would not be obese. The obesity epidemic wouldn't be rising because it's been getting worse. We've been getting more certified fitness professionals and health coaches and life coaches out in the world. And we still have a crisis of people gaining weight over and over and over again. If all these magic pills, like imagine if you just accumulated all the knowledge, like say you binge watched every single episode of Dr. Oz since day one it aired and took all the supplements and all the advice that he did and you still didn't lose weight, that tells you something, right? There's people that are dedicated watching that show daily and somehow they haven't figured out the magic secret either right it's literally patience and consistency over a long period of time cleanses and detoxes are not going to fix years or decades of shitty eating and no exercise like even at a cellular level for a fat cell to turn over it takes fucking forever (laughs) like You can't fight science when it's like clearly black and white. Like even if you look at studies where they go into liposuction, your body goes into a huge ass stress response. Like, holy shit, what happened? We lost a lot of fat and it reproduces the fat cells to make up for it. Like there's no shortcut, man thousand tenths anyway i'm gonna end it there (laughs) if you have any questions feel free to reach out um thank you for listening to me ramble you guys are amazing thank you thank you thank you and that's it for me hit the show notes add me on facebook share this podcast with your friends and family and give me a five-star review on anywhere you listen to this podcast you know spotify soundcloud iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, wherever you're listening it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, you guys.